have a look at this special, special sighting. We've got two rock monitors having a bit of a wrestle. The guy on top now is the male. He's trying to get the female into a position where he can mate with her. She's having none of it. She wants none, nothing to do with him. And isn't this weird? This is not the same pair that the leopard was hunting just now. This is a different pair, but in exactly the same area. We're about 50 yards or so apart. You can see what's happening now is this female's got this male's hips, and so he can't get around. He can't move around her, so he's, he's in a bit of a lock. She's got him subdued. <laughs> Looking like he's overpowering her slowly but surely. She's lost her grip of his hips. And what he's trying to do is force her underneath him. She's going to try and get out of the way now. She might spin and try and run for it. Are you trying to bite her leg? Oh, oh, what are you doing? That's not the way to treat a lady. Yeah, she must bite him back. She's in the perfect spot. What are you doing? Well, that's, dislocating your girlfriend's hip is not the best way to go about it. Stop that. Steffi, you said it looks complicated. It, it absolutely is. He obviously isn't the best male around, and this female doesn't want anything to do with him. Or she's playing a little bit of hard to get, which is giving other males in the area the chance to come and usurp this guy. Eventually what will happen is her body will tell her, look, this is, no, no, what are you doing? That's not the way. Just because you're not getting your way doesn't mean you have to do that. Uh, she giving him some... Well, she'll give another bigger male the chance to usurp this one. What he needs to do is realize that biting a leg off... No, 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 no. Come now. He needs to let go of his grip there. She's got out of it. Good. He's trying to hold on desperately. Missed it. Now he'll chase her down. <laughs> and into that thick bush. Look at the elephant in the background. Sorry, uh, Louise, would you repeat uh, Dino's, uh, Dino's question, please? Absolutely. Spring is in there. Yeah, they've come out this side now in front of us. Let's see if the male catches him. Spring is definitely in there. Absolutely, Dino. It looks like this female actually got away. No, he's still in tow. Oh, come out of this bush now. There you can see him, tired. Tongue flicking out, looking for her. I think she's made good her escape, actually. Let's see what happens here when he catches up with her. Obviously, she won't be able to get too far. She's leaving a pheromone trail that he can follow using scent. No, he's lost her. He's going around in circles here. Senza is just... She can... Senza can see her. She's playing... She's gotten away. <laughs> out my friend it's because you want to be so abusive that's why that is not cool Ooh, excuse my bald head getting in your shot see he's almost desperate trying to find her look at the way he's flicking his tongue out he's coming right past the car Africa's Komodo dragon only the water monitor is longer there she is somewhere there She's just counting her lucky stars at the moment. There he goes. He's going to backtrack, I think, from the last position. We'll stick with him and see if he manages to refind her again. Let's see how determined he is. Yeah, he's picking up the scent now. Oh, you can see how almost frantic he is, eh?
Becky, you'd like to know if these lizards are poisonous. Um, so they are related to the Komodo dragon, which has a saliva harboring a lot of bacteria. And that's a lot. There goes the female there. Come on, get away now. That saliva is, uh, can convey uh, toxins which will cause septicemia and eventually death in the Komodo dragon. These lizards will give you a nasty bite. They've got these peg-like teeth and can give a nasty bite. Um, and can also infect you with a type of bacteria, but they don't have the same bacteria that lives in the mouth of the Komodo dragon. This will be by chance. In other words, the bite will be, uh, will, will be, will infect you by chance rather than by design as it is in the Komodo dragon so no these are not venomous um, they don't have any venom glands either they're not like the Gila monster uh, which has venom venomous saliva or, or venom that they produce in their saliva either so this would just be an infected bite because their mouths are full of nasty bacteria rather than anything else he is trying his best to get her she's now walked off completely opposite direction heading towards some elephant Let's see if he's on her trail no he's lost her wow what a good escape look at him <laughs> that gait that they have is just so amazing like a big bodybuilder strutting his stuff and flexing his muscles. The reason why they mate now is because it takes almost an entire year for the eggs to incubate. They incubate under the ground and they hatch out a year later uh, when the sun warms up the earth and when water softens the ground that the eggs have been laid in. So they mate now and they'll dig their eggs into the ground when the first rains fall and then a year later they will uh, they will then the babies will hatch uh, as soon as the ground gets wet again right we're going to stick around and see if we can pull young Hosanna out of the bush over here with the help of Aubrey and um, we're going to send you all the way north to Scott who's looking for some cheetah